just as I expected this thing cast like absolute donkey. I have to throw my back out to make a cast here. Oh, yep. Yep, there we go. Yep, got him. Yep, 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 no. Oh. Well guys, I hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're back here with another video. About this time last year, I did a video and um, yeah, you guys seem to really, really enjoy it. It was a $20 budget Kmart uh, fishing budget challenge. So we're gonna do the same thing again today and we just got, you know, your 20 buck note and um, yeah, we're just gonna see how we go. Uh, this time we're gonna do Big W. We're at this local one here and yeah, we're just gonna go in there, see how we go. Uh, 20 bucks is probably not gonna get me much because uh, with inflation and stuff over the last year, I'll probably be lucky to get a pair of jocks. So let's just lock up the car and uh, let's go see what we can find. I don't know about you, but I always look for the fishing rod sticking up on the high wall for gear. So, if we are here, let us see what we can get. Hmm. Alright, I'm looking at prices and stuff, but pretty limited on prices. Ah, oh, bugger. Oh, that sucks. This is the one I was looking at. Look at that, the 12-buck rod. Bugger. I'll put it in there, go. Got some 18ers. Got that one there. Got all the lures in it already, like a little kit. So we lures too. These lures, yeah, this is the way to go. Three bucks for these. It's ten bucks, a little bit more. Those ones. These are the ones that I used in it. The last video, this brand here, these ones here, the exact ones. That's a shame. That sucks. The twelve dollar one that I was really wanting is not here, unless there's something around the corner. Freaking inflation, you can't even get a kid's rod for 20 bucks. You know, kid's rod and reel combo. Last year I cleaned up for 20 bucks easy. I think I had like a buck extra, so. All right, so as you saw, we uh, didn't have the rod combo that we wanted. It didn't fit in that $20 budget. Could have done 25, but I want to be true to the, the challenge and uh, do 20 buck challenge. So uh, we're going to go to another Big W that I've just checked and it said that it had the stock online um, in store. So we're gonna get head there, it's about another 20 minute drive, but we'll see how we go. It's gonna be a tricky one. I'll probably burn more in fuel than I do buying the fishing rod and lures. So yeah, let's head to the car and drive to the next Big Dub. Found the fishing section, rods. Yeah, let's see if we have better luck here. Better array of selection. Hopefully they have that 12 little set up. Is that it there? That's in. <laughs> That's it. 12 buck dealio that one right there. Awesome. So that's what we're after. That's awesome because the other uh, BW didn't have this set up, so this is like a 12 12 dollar dealio. Excellent, so we got our rod and reel sorted. Um, we just need lures, so hopefully they got the same lures and it looks like they do. Maybe not as many. Let's have a look. These three little ones. Oh, there they go. Oh, they look like they've got better colors too. Yeah, definitely that one. That's not quite sure. What do you reckon? Those two colors look pretty good. Pretty dynamite, those two colors. And they're $3.50 each, so that's very good. I've got a dollar left. Surely I can't get a great line or anything like that. Nah, they're all like 10 bucks and stuff like that, so. We'll just have to stick with the line on here. I don't know what line is on here. I assume six pounds or something like that. <laughs> but we'll see how we go. So I've got me rod, reel, and line, and lures. Uh, everything to go. So we'll meet you back at home. Not to pay for all this stuff. Please take your change. Alright, so we made it home, $19 total. So not too bad, dollar to spare. I think the last Challenger was similar sort of thing as well. It was like a dollar left over. So let's have a look and see what we got. So we'll start off with the rod. So this is a Force 10 
four foot six spinning combo. That's an FX 2000. So very interesting little rod. It's obviously just a beginner's rod for a kid or something like that. Four foot six, so it's gonna be very small. It's already got line on there, so that's a win, but I don't know how strong it is. I'm gonna say it's probably like six pound. Let's get it out of the packet and show you. So there's the little reel there. Not too bad. Very, very basic, it was like plasticky, very plasticky, but what do you expect for 12 bucks I think I paid for this. I'll switch that reel handle over because that's the first issue. If you're not fishing left hand, mind, you're doing something wrong. I'm just kidding. I laid it this way, it's a lot easier to throw lures and stuff. Uh, I find it because you can cast with your right hand and then reel with your left. It's a bit awkward to start off with, but you get used to it within you know a couple of sessions of doing it so ball bearings let's have a look at this so ball bearings we've got oh, it doesn't say fine capacity two kilo line 150 meters gear ratio five to one very plasticky though so all it needs to do is catch me some sort of fish so we'll see how that goes and yeah i'm gonna say that's like six pound line so not too bad um with inflation and stuff you know last year i was able to get some line as well but that's okay we'll see how we go and uh, four foot six is gonna be interesting. Oh, she's very stiff. <laughs> she's very stiff for a four foot six rod, but what do you expect from a little cheapy rod? So, nothing too crazy, a little stiff, but um, I reckon we'll get the job done. Now the business end of it, we've got some lures. So we've got these Outback lures here. Um, they're little like shallow diving, uh, jerk bait, crank baits, whatever you wanna call them. Um, they say they dive to about a meter, meter and a half, so that's gonna be perfect around the like, shallow rock bars and stuff like that. I think most of you have seen that lure before. So, very, very similar to the world-renowned lure that I used a few years ago. It's actually been a little while since I've used them. Eco Gear SX40. This is about a $30 lure now, and this was $3.50, but look at the profile and the pattern. So, very, very similar indeed. Hopefully similar action because the action on these are really, really good and it catches all sorts of things. Bass, brim, flathead. We'll see how that goes. We've got two of them just in case we lose one. So we'll see how we go. That's about it for looking at the gear and stuff like that. I think you guys are more interested in seeing me see if I can catch something. Got a little bit of a breeze up today and it's, you know, mid-morning sort of thing. And I think we've got a rising tide. I think high tide's at about 12. So I've only got a couple of hours to fish this morning. So we'll see if we can make it happen. We'll just jump from spot to spot. And if nothing's happening, you know, for 15, 20 minutes, then we'll just move on. So let's see how we go. Let's get the stuff in the car and get to it. Look, not the nicest weather for fishing and stuff. Super windy, on and off rain, but could be a good thing. We'll see how we go. I'm gonna try and make the most of it and capture it on these cameras and stuff. It's cause you know, cameras and rain don't go well together. So we've just pulled up to the first spot and then it's a little track down this little grass patch here. And then we're at the spot. All right, water clarity looks pretty good. It's pretty low tide still as well, which is good. So that's what we're wanting so we can make some big casts. This wind's going to be a bit annoying though, so we'll just make do with what we can. Seeing lots of little bait in the shallows, so that's good too. Alright, let's get to rigging. I might start with this chartreuse crank, just because water is not like super clear, but it's got a little tinge to it. A little green tinge, so go a bit dirtier and use that natural one in the spots where the water's not so dirty. Right over there, there's a brim smash and stuff off the little pylon over there. Looks like it's little jelly prawns though, so hopefully I can surprise attack one with one of these cranks. He's still going nuts over there. I tighten this drag up, not this much. Oh, that's very, that's very sticky, that old reverse. He's still going, eh? Let's see if I can, I wonder if I can get him. Just as I expected, this thing casts like absolute donkey. heard a buff over here. It's not cranking too well. Might have to put a little loop knot on it. They're still going on that wall, eh? Still going nuts. The first thing I've got to worry about is being able to cast them. This thing does not cast very well at all. Ah, much better. They're all just cranking along this wall here. This casting's gonna be absolute shit. 
I have to throw my back out to make a cast here. They're so keyed in on these jelly prawns. This is going to be tricky getting a one that's eaten off one of these walls. That's why it's called a challenge. It's not going to be easy. Not going to be easy, that's for sure. Oh, big rock. This lure does not crank very well either. I wonder if making it look like a little prawn on top might work. They're smacking bait, eh? Right up here in the shallows. Get out there, you dog. Oh, first hit. That was a hit, for sure. Hit for sure. God, it's been a while since I've thrown mono around. They're definitely up here, I've just got to get one to eat. That's all. Oh, rock. Big rock. Hmm, this is gonna be tricky, folks. This is gonna be tricky. Come on, fishy, come on. Come on. Any sort of crankbait, you just gotta be bumping those rocks, eh? Bumping those rocks in that structure. Cast the billy, it's absolutely garbage. Just cause it's a four foot rod, I think. And with this wind, it's not helping at all. Not at all. That's all right, we'll keep assisting. Try and make it happen. If I bought this for my kid and said go fishing with it, I would expect my kid to give up fishing. This thing is absolutely atrocious. Has anyone actually bought this rod before? For, their, for themselves or their kid? Oh, little lizard. Look at him, is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. Nyong. Sorry, mate, just checking on you. Might save the day, peeps. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Sort of. Makes your castability a little bit bigger. A little bit longer. That's all those little surface kisses and stuff on those little prawns has kind of died off, so I wonder if it's a sign for me to head out of here. All right, we're at spot two. And we're just gonna see how we go. Plenty of trucks and stuff going past, so hopefully we can get something to bite. Oh, this wind's gonna be so annoying. So much bait. Oh. It's that little one come up. Oh, one came out for it. I like the sound of that. They're all just sitting here, they're all teasing me. It's a big grim. Eat it. There's a giant brim under it. Giant fish. He saw it fall from the tree, I think. Eat it, go on. There's that big brim. Oh, he's gone. Ah. Definitely a challenge today, that's for sure. Definitely a challenge. You wouldn't believe it, but I've had about three or four donut sessions with the old budget challenge. So we're going to the area where there's plenty of fish in around here. So I'm gonna see how we go. See if we can get one. One, and I'd be happy. That's all we need. This challenge is complete. Oh. Oh, yep. Oh, no. Oh, what? That was a fish. 
for sure. It's probably not there anymore. No way. That was a fish for sure. Oh. Yep, there we go. Yep, got him. Yep, yep, yep. No. Next cast. Please still be on there. Please still be on there. Please still be on there. Please still be there. Come on. There he is. Oh no. This is how you lose him. Yes! You are victorious. Woohoo! Got him. Oh. Never been happy to catch an undersized brim. Then right now, challenge successful. Little Outback special. Oh, there we go. $20 Big W challenge complete. We got him. Woohoo! Let's go for another five, 10 minutes. Literally, I would pay $20 to never cast this thing again. Cast like absolute dog. Absolute donkey's balls. All right, cut my losses. Well, that's a that's a win on the old big W twenty dollar special. That is a win. We did it. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to push myself too much further because uh, yeah, it's um very very terrible the cast. I'll talk about it when I get home. All right, guys. So that'll end it there. I hope you really enjoyed that one. It was took a little while, but we got there in the end. There was obviously those three or four donut sessions, and uh, yeah, you don't really want to see just video footage of me just casting and not getting much excitement at all. But we finally got there in the end. There's the little combo there, the little crankbait on there, and uh, it, God, it was a challenge, that's for sure. And I would literally pay twenty dollars to not throw this the rod again. But it was a challenge. It was good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you want to see any more things like that, let me know in the comment section. Thanks guys and uh, we'll see you next time.